Hello friends, in this video we will be looking at code forces 1857A array coloring problem. This problem recently came in code forces round 891 for division 3. So the problem states Matt, that you are given an array consisting of n integers and your task is to determine whether it is possible to color all its elements in two colors in such a way that some of the elements of both sides have same parity and each color has at least one element color. So it is a, given as an example, if the array is 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 5, 4, we can color it as 1, 2, 3 and 4, 2, 3, 5, 4, where some of the blue elements is 6 and some of the red elements is 8. So same parity implies that some of elements of both red and blue colored elements should be either even or either odd. So in this case, both are even, which is 6 and 18. So input contains test uh, number of test cases t and each test case begins with n containing number of elements in array and then the number of uh, elements for the array. So for each test case we need to output yes if it is possible to color the array in two colors with same parity for both the colors and each element has one element colored else we have to print no. So example test input and output are given and let's see in second example it is given that array is 4 and 7 so it is 4 for the two colorings possible as this but in both of this case the parity of sums is different that is for blue the sum is 4 and for red the sum is 7 and both of them does, does not are contains the same parity so in third example you can see that we can color the array such that 3 9 and 8 in which the sums will contain the same parity so from something this uh, we can output that for a sum s if the uh, sum for the sum s if we add an even number to the sum s the uh, parity of s would remain as itself but for a sum s if we add an odd number to it the parity of that sum changes as even number becomes odd number and odd number changes to even number so we need to the so algorithm for this example states that we need to find the total number of odd numbers in the given array if the total number of odd numbers can be divided by 2 then we can create an array in which the parity remains same and if the total number of odd elements does not equal to you know num uh, even then we are not able to find the uh, colored parity for this test case so it follows a simple example we need to take an in input and count the total number of odd number in the given array if it is divisible by 2 we need to print yes and if they are not divisible by 2 then we need to print no so let's solve this sum i'll solve it in the internal id itself as it's an easy problem I'll I'm solving it in C++ you can solve it in any language you want so first we'll take in the number of test cases then we'll run a while loop number of test cases. for each test cases there is a number n and we let's create a counter odd and an element x so we will run the for loop for n times instead of storing all the array elements i just store the count of odd numbers so that uh, it is it saves some space and as i'm not storing the array i am only uh, storing the count of odd numbers so if it's person two now let's take the integer inside itself yeah so here we have taken the count of odd so after the loop is ended we'll just check if it is odd or even if it is odd i will print no else i'll print yes so this would be the code for this i'll just submit it to see if it works 
and the problem gets accepted so thank you for watching guys do comment down below if you would like to see a new video on this or you would like me to challenge any other problem thank you for watching